Hi, I'm Tiny Joy Now, and I'd like to introduce you to our leading lady, Elaine. Elaine? You might say, Th this isn't Elaine. I watched the cast video. First of all, while she has a similarly naturally beautiful face like Elaine, I mean, Elaine had this cool modern retro haircut and an attitude to match. She had, was a very petite frame, and let's just say, the biggest tatas we have ever seen, and I'm so sorry, but this woman just, you know, no hate, no body shame, but this just, you know, cannot be Elaine. But yes, yes guys, this is our dear and beloved Elaine. Now, Elaine, let me tell you about Elaine right now in her life. As you can see, she's a little overweight, which again, no body shame, no problem, but for Elaine, this isn't her. Now, she's in a bit of a bad situation at this time in her life. I would definitely say her artwork reflects that. She's in a relationship with her husband, Jerry Woods. Now, Jerry is mean. Oh, he's mean. He's sexist. I don't even know why he's with Elaine. I think he's with Elaine more because he can manipulate her than he's so deeply in love with her. Because he's constantly making little comments about her weight, what she wears, do this, do that, cook dinner, make me a drink. Yeah, he's kind of the worst, but poor Elaine is just so young, she doesn't know. Oh, but I think subconsciously she knows this is the saddest painting, Elaine. Oh my gosh. Where should we hang this? You know what? We should just sell it, because <laughs> it's too sad. Let's make a little money for the meantime. Now, Elaine not only likes to, um, do artwork, but she likes to garden. Is this not the coolest little garden she's got going on? Now, it's not much, but come on, it's something. It looks pretty cute. She's making the most for her little city apartment, and you can't blame her. And in addition to everything, this cool girl, I think she's cool, even though she's in a little bit more of a shyer time in her life, she actually is into witchcraft. She's like an amateur witch. And this is so cool. I haven't tried this yet, but this is a mod. I will put it in the description below. The modder said it took her a year to do it, but apparently you can kind of do the whole like brewing outdoor retreat recipes on this. So that's pretty cool because it, if that can replicate it properly, it will definitely give us better witchy vibes. So Elaine, you know, She's going to mop this up. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the place is just a little bit messy. Nothing crazy. Just a little bit of laundry on the floor. A little bit of, you know, stains here and there. And while I don't personally think it's that big of a deal, Jerry is a little perfectionist and a neat freak. But keep in mind, he's causing some of this stuff. You know, he's, he's being a jerk to her. And he's saying, clean it up. You're, you're always leaving the place dirty. You're not a good housewife. Yeah, we're, you know, it's modern day, but the man is acting like it's the 1950s. And poor little Elaine is just so naive. She doesn't know any better. She's just so quick to just take it and, you know, accept that that's the way she'll be treated. Now, I also want to show you their difference in relationships. Um, look at him having a great time because he was mean to her. What a jerk. Now, as you can tell, he doesn't really like her that much. Like, I think maybe, maybe she was petite when he met her and he liked her then, or he just likes having someone, like, he doesn't want to be in with someone he really loves, because then that might mean, well, you know, they might get along and he might have to, you know, do what she says. Now, Elaine, on the other hand, if you want to see her relationship with him, she is totally deeply in love with this man she thinks he's the bee's knees and i definitely think it's because of their age you know she's a young adult he's an adult and i think because of the age difference she just thinks he's so cool and mature and older look at her she's so quick to serenade him and blow him little kisses but elaine come on look at him as much as he likes that he's so quick to give her shit and jeer her and be like I'm hungry. Make me lunch. And of course, poor little Lane is just going to take it for now and she's going to go make him some food. So why don't we make him something lavish? Remember, he's, you know, expects the best and sadly Elaine wants to give him the best. Now, 
I don't know if you noticed in this corner right here, level 10. Yes, Elaine did not get big just from mean comments from Jerry. In fact, she's a level 10 cooking, uh, just regular home style cooking. She's a level 10 in gourmet cooking and baking. The girl can cook and she loves to eat and I don't blame her. Now, what's something really extravagant that we can impress Jerry with? Um, an apple pie? That's a possible, oh, roasted chicken. We gotta go out. Who, who, who makes an entire chicken? Like that's nuts, you know what I mean? Now, after that, I think it might be fun if we do a little bit of brewing right here. Don't you think we can try this out and see if it works? Uh, Jerry, on the mean, uh, meanwhile, while he's, you know, waiting for Elaine to hang... Look at him! We get it, Jerry! We get it! You're hungry! You're such a complainer! We're gonna ignore GeekCon <laughs> and those very happy music. And we're going to just have him play some games because, you know, why not? You know, he's lazy. You know, he has his girl do everything. Now, while I do describe Elaine at this point in her life as mousy and being controlled, the fact that she's picking up witchcraft is kind of showing hints of her... I don't know how to explain this. Like, she's starting to question Jerry. She's starting to think, you know, I don't know if I like the way he talks to me. And she's thinking about the idea of empowerment and sexuality. Because for a while now, he's been putting down her sexuality. He's been putting down the way she looks. And he's been putting down a lot of things about her that for any young woman or person, you know, you're really going to take that to heart. So I feel like witchcraft to her, her little amateur witchcraft she's kind of picking up, is her way of handling the stress. And subconsciously, she's starting to think, maybe this is not the life... I want to lead so of course right now she's making him a little chicken and maybe we'll have Jerry you know be a butthead and go yell at her some more because he's you know really crappy you know he's he's probably he's probably complaining about how long the chicken tastes he's like it better not taste dry and she's like oh okay no 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 honey no 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 Let's see how that chicken turned out. Oh, see, Jerry, stop complaining. That chicken turned out great. Okay, now let's put that right here in the middle of the kitchen, and we're just going to have them kind of eat food, catch up, and maybe actually we won't have Elaine eat. Is she hungry? She's a little hungry. We'll have her eat a little bit. But afterwards, I think we should focus on the witchcraft because she's got all these awesome plants. Now, let's see what kind of plants she has. She's just regular basil. You know, you can put that in your cooking. Maybe she's growing that for cooking. Uh, we've got, oh, um, now I'm going to pronounce this wrong. A moral, a moral, a moral mushroom. That's crazy. I don't think, you know, that's definitely weird. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh, before we talk about the plants, look at, look at Miss Thing standing up for herself. Oh, nice job, Elaine. Except, Elaine doesn't fully have the balls yet. You know, she's, she's trying. She's, you know, she's trying to stand up for herself, but she's going to kind of apologize right away. Jerry would never apologize. He doesn't feel sorry for anything he does. He has no guilt or whatever. See how she's like, oh, I didn't mean it, honey. And he's like, you can make it up to me by making me a drink. Yeah, he's truly just like a villain in disguise. He's such a sniveling little creep. So how about we have her kind of part ways with Jerry for a moment and just kind of focus on brewing some stuff. Oh, a clear mind distillation. Or no, no, no. Let's have her do a de-stressing. It's very stressful living with Jerry. And maybe let's just see kind of how this animation works. I'm really curious. Let's see. Oh my God, this looks sick. Oh my God, look. Guys, guys, she's a little witch. That's so sick. Oh my God. Wow, she looks great! Wow. Okay, this is awesome. I wonder if this stuff actually works. Now, okay, we see she put it in her inventory. Now, her inventory is going to look kind of nuts because remember, she's got to have, you know, ingredients for all this mess. Let's see, I see it right here. It's the new one. We have... Oh, de-stressing! Okay, let's de-stress her and see what kind of effects we have going on. How do you feel about that, girl? 
she's like, let me tell you, Jerry, I'm going to be a pretty powerful witch one day. And he's like, that, that's nice, honey. Did you get, did you get your little witchcraft spells at Barnes and Noble? Shut up, Jerry. Maybe she did. Maybe she did. Maybe she went on Tumblr and typed in witchcraft spells and it worked. Now, how does she feel? Oh my gosh. Okay. She seems very inspired. That's really cool. Oh. Okay, so someone's trying to spread the love. But let's be real. Even when he's trying to spread the love, it it's always has ulterior motives. I feel like he's spreading the love because he's trying to kind of... This is how he manipulates it. He'll put her down. He'll pick her up. He'll put her down. He'll pick her up. So let's have our dear girl um be kind of right now she's kind of being talked into by him to make some drinks so we're gonna make him an old yorkfield classic and he can just drink to his little heart's content she is such a little stepford housewife oh and i don't say that in a good way not that that term's ever used good Ooh, do you guys ever love doing this look how cool this looks don't you feel like you're really in on the story Okay, so she made a little jink drink platter for Jerry. Now let's see what Jerry thinks about it. She's gonna... Maybe she'll have a drink. Oh, why are you upset, dude? Come on. Look at this shit. He's gonna... Are you... You wanna... Ch why are you so upset? Come on, dude. You're gonna chew her out? You know what? Elaine's done. Elaine, Elaine is tired of your shit. She is, she is, oh, Elaine, Elaine, oh my god, Elaine, what did you put in those drinks, what did you put in those drinks, girl, oh no, what have you done, Elaine, what have you done,